see what I can do here with this disaster. The goal, that's what the goal is, is to lift the roof up and pull the trailer up. That's what the goal is. Will that work? I don't know. Hi, my name is Randy, and the video you're going to be watching here is uh, me picking up all the pieces uh, from the chicken coop. What happened is, which only should have taken me about six minutes, I was moving my chicken coop. We did get a snowstorm, and there was some heavy snow that was on the roof of the chicken coop. When I started to move the chicken coop, uh, it collapsed on me. So I don't feel very smart about it and sometimes I make mistakes. So anyways, that's what the video is all about, me picking up the pieces. Well, let's see how much more I can screw this up. I'll uh, gonna put a chain on the trailer, see if we can pull the trailer out at least. Leave the roof up there. Well, we got a little problem. This here has touched my loader and Yeah, this might help. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, it runs away from the tractor. I don't want to break anything on the tractor. If I break something on the tractor, that gets more expensive than the chicken coop. It should pull away. I want. Step one. If it wants to pull that wall, pull that wall out of there, I'll be okay with that. <coughs> Gotta get out to my driverless driverless tractor here. Got the trailer out. I'm happy about that. Let's go get a couple of round bales now. I always feel that when there's a job to be done, I need to get it done. What I'll do is I'm gonna there's enough snow on the ground. I'm gonna drag that back wall. I'm gonna drag that one out of here. Oh, good night. Put another bay, I'll bring it over here now. I don't think I need to be burning diesel fuel here. I'll be back. I'm gonna bring some two by sixes. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna screw it and I'm gonna put another one over here. So hopefully that uh, we can keep all this roof intact here. I'm not sure, we'll see. But anyways, it's not going anywhere now. Unless I just leave it here for the winter. But if I can get around in here now. Just put a fence around here. I could put a fence. 
So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it over 100 feet over there, but I got to make 300 feet to get there. So I just don't want this thing to be sitting here either. So we're going to try to use these pipes to get underneath here. So let's let's do this. Well, I added more pounds to the roof now. I added actually two two by eights that are 16 feet long. I fastened them up here right at the eave. And I also did another one over here. So hopefully we'll see how this is all gonna go. And I got these pipes on here. Hopefully we can lift it up. And uh, at least now the weight can be picked up over here instead of, cause I did bust it right here already that was a nice clean cut that i made there i'm not really too worried about it but anyways i'm hoping we can lift this up and get this thing out of here still not working so what i think, need, think i'll need to do here and try to change to here i'll try to do that two by eight over there We'll see what happens. I don't know if this will work, but we will try to see what happens. Well, I got the roof, it's on the loader. Issue is, is not an issue, but I want to drive forward and I can't lift up the uh, roof any higher. But I can pull it back. So actually, I'm going to pull it back. You know, through the mud here, I'll drag it back. And then i got to go on the other side of the wrapper there. There's the bale there, and that's where we're going to put it. So, yeah, there's that right-hand corner there. I could not. I'm going to hit that fence post there. Barely. Try to get away from here a little bit. Stay away from that fence post. Dragging on there. So got room. Stay away from this trailer here. We'll be okay. So I put those two by eights on there. I got a chain and I got another one up here. I put the chain over top, tied it to that one, and we were able to try to hold it in there. So yeah, I don't have the power to, and I don't have the, this is as high as I can go with my loader. I can't even tilt it up higher either. It doesn't have the power. So I'm really happy that uh, I'm able to get it out this far. I hope it doesn't drop here because this is right on the lane. I was gonna use the other tractor. We're gonna put the three-point hitch on the front there, but I thought, uh, you know, Joyce could help me, but uh, I thought, you know, by the time I would get get her out here and that, that's, uh, this is gonna work work very good, I think. I only have one side that is dragging. As we can see, we're just dragging that side over there. Let's see what it looks behind me here. I'm gonna stay out of there, because it's wet. So all I need to do is just go straight back. I gotta go in between those bales there. And then that's where we'll leave the roof to the chicken coop. It's gotta be like a modular chicken coop. Let's just get in between these two bales. Uh-huh, there we go. out like this I think I'll be very happy. Well finally we're moving the chicken coop. Now I guess it's going to be a modular. Yeah. Well the hippie hen house is now a modular. Kind of saved the walls. 
I'm happy that I was was able to save the roof. Put a couple of bales on here. It'll stay here for winter. I did damage one section over there. But it is what it is. I was able to save the, the door. I'll take this door out yet uh, and put it in inside the building someplace. So, yeah, that's kind of really disappointing, but it is what it is. So, the floor is still good. We'll be able to uh, put another, uh, put some walls up in here, and uh, that's it. that is a big roof, I think. Maybe we might even peak it, I'm not sure. We had three seasons out of it. And this has been something that's been working really good. The water tank is here, so anyways, that's how it went. I cleaned it up from the lane there. The lane is clear. Hope you folks enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, yeah, it's quite a mess back there. See you later.